Hey, uh, welcome to another wholesome review by Taylor. And I'll be completely honest, I thought I already filmed this. But I, uh, I went over there and I must have bumped my headphones when I was playing with it. So anyway, we're here for take two. And we have the Oregon uh, chainsaw helmet. So comes in the box, this big, nice tiny packaging. I gave it to them. They barely had any plastic with it. It's great. I love it. I bought two of these. So when we're out here having fun, playing with chainsaws, juggling them, throwing them through wood chippers, we stay safe. We don't get another ow, traumatic brain injury. Um, it's pretty cold out here today. So I tried to take it all apart so I could put it back together. But this one would not come apart, which is fine. It doesn't matter. You, you never take this off anyway. But it comes with these. It costs $33 on Amazon, which is incredible. Um, it has all your great specs. It has, it says ANSI on it. So if you ever buy, um, if you ever buy a hard hat, I don't know if you can read it, but you want to make sure they say ANSI on them somewhere. And, uh, it also, again, with good plastics, it tells you when it was made. So you can figure out the year, you can figure out the month. Sometimes you can figure out the day, which is pretty cool. This one doesn't do day. This is made out of PP, which is polypropylene. It's pretty awesome. It's a good plastic. So this has great flexibility. Ooh, good flexibility uh, made in 2021 in April so just about a year ago that's pretty cool and it says it meets if you're and again buying safety equipment you want to make sure it says this meets ANSI 789.1 uh, type 1 class C and that is awesome they, these mean a lot this this is like you can look these up online they'll tell you what but that means um, I should actually do that. Maybe I'll do another video about it and talk about the loads that these can handle. Um, and the nice thing is it comes with these, uh, these, and these are also rated, and they have their ANSI's. And, um, yep. And these are ANSI S12.42-2010. And what that means is these reduce the sound by 22 decibels. Deci decibels is all about power. It's very fascinating how they work. It's a log scale, so to go up one decimal has to be like 10 times the amount of energy for each step, every decibel. So it's very good that these bring them out by 22 because if you're ever if you're over 80 decibels, um, it's gonna ruin your hearing over time. It's a very big deal. I'm really glad we have good standards about in the US because I've been around loud equipment since I was 12 years old and I didn't wear earplugs for the first year, four years and it, it, I can tell. I have to read lips now because it damaged my hearing. But ever since then, I always, always, always made sure we had earplugs or earmuffs. So when you're around, when we were around loud stuff, uh, you don't go deaf. It's important. My dad has hearing problems because he was around a lot of noisy stuff. And the interesting thing is his hearing, he has like a constant ringing, especially in higher frequencies where like, uh, chit, like, the, like the range that typically a child speaks in. So the higher frequencies like this, he has a constant ringing. So it's really it's really hard for him. It makes it really hard. But the nice thing is he can't hear a lie, and uh, he does, he just powers through and does his best. It's been really hard with the mask mandates because he's still got a reading lips. That by losing that sensory input, it's made uh, communication more difficult for him, which I totally feel by having my traumatic brain injury, where I had times where I felt like I. W I had to speak like this where every single time I spoke, I had to make a physical connection with my body. It was driving people nuts, but it allowed me to communicate. I couldn't imagine having to read lips and then going through the pandemic. It sounds horrible. I'm so sorry. Um, but anyway, back to this helmet. It's awesome. Comes with these. These are great. So as a, as a, as a, as a working man who's had a blue collar job, these are awesome because when you see your boss come and you're ready to flip these down and you just walk away. You just pretend you didn't see him coming, you just walk away because he's going to go tell you to do a different job and you know what job you're supposed to be doing. And it wasn't chit chatting with your buddy, but that's what I was doing. It's also nice for when you have like the coat, the home underwear cup, walk up, and you have these on and they're over here and she's trying to get your attention and you're just jamming to your music and you're like, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. Not today, not today. I don't want to talk to you. The trick is not doing, not saying that part, but actually just looking like you're really busy because they normally walk away, especially when you have really loud equipment like I do. Like we're over a hundred and we're, we're over a hundred decibels a lot of the time just because of loud engines. It's pretty cool. 
Um, luckily, I'm using an electric chainsaw, so it's not nearly as loud. It's about this loud, which probably sounds terrible on the mic. I'm so sorry, but it's not that loud. Um, but what is loud is the wood chipper I have. But this is awesome. I love this. And then it also has this guy. I've never had a hard hat have these. I've, I've had these before. And again, for $33, normally these stupid things cost like 50 especially in the corporate world. They cost a bajillion dollars. But now that we have Amazon, thank you, Daddy Bezos, um, you get a lot cheaper. But these are nice. They just pop right in. And you can kind of adjust how far in these go, which is I thought was really interesting. Like, I put the other, the other, put my other one together so hastily, I'd even notice that you have you can like adjust how far away from your face the screen is, which is kind of cool. Like right here is a little bit far, so maybe we go back one more. Uh oh, I can't do it. Okay, whatever. Um, but yeah, the screen's nice, and you can flip it up, and you get it down, and it, and, it, and I read that it's almost as good as safety glasses. It's just I've worked with so many. And this is awesome for wood, because like you're not gonna have any wood stuff come through this, unless you're doing something real weird like dust. But I've been around so much mud and uh, concrete dust that I still like just having normal glasses, which I've been wearing the whole time. I know it makes the video weird, but it's hard. It's hard to remember where's my eyeballs. So anyway, I love these. These are awesome. Um, good practice is make sure that that your your little earbuds don't get too smushed too weird but this one doesn't look like they smush it too weird i've had other hard hats that and different brands of these that got smushed differently um the only thing like again 33 dollars 33 dollars for all of this the whole getup that's freaking cheap it's crazy i've only seen one that was cheaper and it looked cheaper for a reason um i've always had good experience with the oregon brand they seem to have their they seem to have their priorities in straight just like get good stuff to people who need it which is awesome i love that um, the only, my only critique is for my head, because my head's kind of big, uh, this is the most comfortable harness, but for $33, you can't really complain about it. Um, it fits great. It'll work great. And I love it. So that's awesome. Uh, the other thing I got, it's freaking sweet chaps. They're, they're awesome. And with these, when you're chainsawing, if you hit them, uh, this tears and then it gets sucked into the blade of the chainsaw, which is great because it keeps your leg from getting chopped off. Uh, are they super necessary? No, they're not super necessary. But I've, if I'm acting a little aloof because of my traumatic brain injury, but I still want to have fun working, I'd rather be safe than sorry and spend the six, the sixty-five dollars to uh, buy some chaps that will keep my legs from getting chopped off because I can guarantee. If I chop off one of my legs, it's gonna cost me at least sixty-six dollars. So, count count this one dollar saved. <laughs> one dollar saved. If we gotta be all economic in the analysis, I know that my my analysis is off because I can't be on the computer and figure out how much it costs to buy a new leg. I bet it costs at least a thousand dollars. But if it costs any more than five, then I'm just gonna buy. I'm not gonna buy one. I'm gonna build one in the shop. I'll have a peg leg <laughs> that I built for myself. Which would be pretty fun. I would love that. Um, anyway, uh, let's quickly talk about chainsaw. So I have both. I have a gas chainsaw, and I got this bad boy. And I like this one more. And the simple reason why I like it more is because it's quiet, and it turns off easier. And it, and I don't have to start it, and I don't have to mix gas for it. Oh, and that reminds me, duh, I don't like breathing uh, two smoke, two stroke fumes. I worked at a lot of jobs where I, my best friend was a 80 pound, two stroke gas, a two stroke gas powered hammer drill. And it's huge. It makes you feel awesome. Carry it on your shoulder. You feel like the buffest dude in the world. You're drilling, you're punching holes through concrete in a minute. It's fast. It's awesome. And it smells terrible. It smells terrible. It's loud. It's loud as hell. And it sucks. <laughs> and now we have really nice electric ones. That don't smell terrible. You have to drag an electric cord around, but they only weigh 20 pounds and uh, they're still really loud, <laughs> but they don't kick dust everywhere and too, too smoke everywhere. So better for the environment, better for the kitties down the street so they're not breathing dust. That's why we switched. So electric is awesome. And this one's really cool. It has this uh, brake, you pop it forward and it, and it automatically turns off and then you can't start it. I won't, I won't show it off, but show it like this. 
No, no, no go, no go. It makes it safe. It's nice, especially with electric tools with, around kids. You just want to make sure there's like multiple ways of making sure your kid doesn't lock up and pretend it's a machine gun from Call of Duty. So, can't start it. And it even bleeds at you. Nope, not gonna go. Um, the blade's been holding up great. They came with that. I've cut down a bunch of little trees. I don't cut anything big because I don't know what I'm doing. And I don't want to die. So, I, if, it, if it's smaller, if I can put my hand around it, uh, then I don't cut it. Which is fine. We have a lot of dead pine on the property from the forest not being managed. But the other nice thing, going back to the kid thing, just pull one battery out. One battery, this thing doesn't even turn on. It's just smart. And it's got two. I have five amp hour. That's how, that's a lot of life. But they're, so it's 36 volts. Two, eight, two 18 volt batteries, 36 volts. 36 times 10 is three. Where's that? Like three. Three hundred and sixty watt hours of power. That's a lot of power. That's a lot of energy. That's energy. Watt hours are energy. Your conversion's crazy. Don't go to college. I'll drive you nuts. But uh, uh, how many horsepower is that? So if a horsepower was seven hundred, I don't know how many amps it is though. It says amp hours. Dang it! I don't know how many amps it does? Maybe it says on it. I wish it was smart. Oh, is it smart? It is smarter than me. How many horsepower are you? Is this how fast it is? It, it goes from zero to 3,940 3, feet per minute. Oh my god! That's almost a mile every minute and a half the thing could run. That's crazy. <laughs> that's, a, that's how we measure our chainsaws here in America. How fast they can run. This one runs a mile and a minute and a half. Beat that, you Usain Bolt. Uh, <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with that. Anyway, I'm going to have fun. I'm going to be safe. I'll end with this little guy. I open it up. I've had this guy, my little Leatherman, since I was a sophomore in college. So, uh, sophomore the second time. Uh, or freshman thing. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So 2013, I've had this eight years. I have two of them because I left it on my desk and my desk got super dirty from being in college and I lost it for six months. So I bought another one and within a week I found this one. So now I have two. It's pretty cool. I used to return it because I love it that much. Um, if you're going to get one, get one of these. We'll do an in-depth review later, but it has everything you need. It has a screwdriver. It has an extra screwdriver hidden in the side to switch it out. It has a knife. It has... It has jaws and has a bottle opener. And that's all you need. It doesn't have a helicopter in there. No tweezers, no wine opener, nothing silly. So you need. And just like that, that is a wholesome review of a bunch of fun equipment. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Uh, I'm doing my best. I know you guys are doing your best. Take it easy. Don't get TM. TBI. Don't get TBI. Peace. For a little bonus, we've got these guys in here. Look how cute they are. But they're inside because it's going to be freaking cold tonight. And we don't want them to die.